<laughs> Company, ten foot. I didn't think of myself as being the leader, and I kind of got thrust into it. But I ended up being successful. It's a sport that um, not many people know about, and I'm lucky to be a part of it. High knees. I like to play football also because you can meet new friends and have fun. To look at your, your children and say, wow, I, I can't get that for you, I can't do that for you right now, it's a really, really hard thing. It's definitely the biggest challenge is figuring out the funding. When I was in school, they came around fifth grade and said, what would you like to play? What would you like to play, little girl? And I said, drums, you know? It's a lot different now because uh, instead of asking kids what instrument they would like to play in fifth grade, they don't even bring it up. Football for the boys is about $200 a player. It's a huge, huge um, decision, especially with um, parents who are unemployed right now. Came into work and I just kind of felt something wasn't right. Walk in and it's like, yeah, we need your keys and we need your company bank card. And uh, oh, by the way, we started advertising for your position like five hours ago. I suddenly realized, wow, I can't afford anything. <laughs> you know? we, we sat down and we kind of asked them and got their feel of, did they want to play football again? Did they like it last year? Did they want to do it again? And when they said they wanted to do it again, I was just like, okay, how am I going to do this? Logan has, uh, an, uh, he's on an individual education plan. He has a learning disability. Um, and Carter, Carter is actually diagnosed with anorexia nervosa. And, um, okay, five, for Carter, five, playing the sport helps him feel like he's a normal boy. Okay. He just he just wants to feel normal and included with everybody else. Feels um good. Feels good. Uh -huh. You feel good about yourself? Yeah. Whenever I have new girls coming into the sport and I see them latch on and you see the light in their eye and loving this new game, it's it's the best feeling. Now we have girls in the program who are going on to Division I scholarships. I have a couple girls who you know, have a full ride scholarship for lacrosse and it's completely changed their lives and their opportunities for the future. Lacrosse at Oregon City, it's um, not funded by the school and so we have to fundraise our own money. Players go out and sell the wreaths and then um, as soon as um, they're all sold, we go to our coach's house, Dara's house, and um, we make them. It's definitely a labor of love, but it ends up making a big difference in a lot of girls' ability to participate in our sport. Thank you. So we had about 35 of them out on my front porch, and you know, Thanksgiving morning, we come out and they were, they were all gone. I was so upset. I couldn't believe that anyone would do that, especially. I mean, it's the giving season. My heart just hurt. It was, it was so disappointing to think that someone, of all things, would would steal from someone's front porch, still this holiday decoration, steal from a team. It, it's all very sad. Being in front of people, I never really got into at an early age. But then it's like once you figure out that you're good at something and people like to hear you share it, it becomes a thing that you want to share with everyone. <laughs> My mom's a single mother, and we, we moved here away from Iowa with just her and my brother Caleb. I was in Drumline even when we didn't have a house of our own. Like I was in Drumline when we were living in my aunt's house in Tigard, and we every morning I'd wake up in Tigard and drive to Clackamas and come to Putnam. I know that it wasn't always easy for her financially, and it was stressful sometimes, I'm sure. When I first met Cody, he was really shy and quiet, and um, he told me, oh, I'm just kind of a follower. A lot of uh, students who maybe don't feel comfortable doing sports or they can't afford the full-on sports. The last day that there was going to be registration um, that the league had scheduled, um, I was 
just basically was ready to sit down that day and tell him that it wasn't going to happen. And uh, that's that's when I got the call from the foundation, from you guys. And I was I was just I was elated. I was ecstatic. I was able to tell them, and you know they were excited and happy. And I quickly called my wife and said, Hey, guess what? Kids can play football this year. You know we've been blessed. Then the phone rings, and. Uh, it says, this is John with the Bald Face Truth Foundation, and we want to completely fund the replacement cost of your reeds. And that sinking pit in my stomach feeling that I have just immediately release. I mean, it goes from being devastated that someone would um, do something so terrible to uh, so thankful that someone is there and um, out of the goodness of their heart would make a donation. And it was awesome. I remember the time she read the email that said that we got the grant and she get, she did like a big dramatic sigh. It was pretty funny actually. And then she she got up and hugged me and was she was really glad that finally a weight had been lifted off her shoulders and that I could continue to pursue this without it having to be an ordeal for the household. Well, I've really seen Cody grow from um, a young man who viewed himself as a follower to, to battery leader. He actually had the perfect personality and respect of his peers to be able to um, engage the drum line. One, two, three, go! The foundation gives every child out there a chance to go do something that they wouldn't have that chance to do, whether it's camp, football, whatever sports, it gives that opportunity. It can give a kid a chance to go to college um, versus, I mean, not going to college at all because they don't have the money to pay for it. With their help, I was able to stay in drumline and pursue piano and become parts of things that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. What would happen if it wasn't there? Well, it'd be awfully quiet in a bad way. It's like a whole part of my life. Thank you.